As one of the most experienced and respected riders in the peloton, Nicholas Roach is an ideal road captain for a Grand Tour squad. The 34-year-old Irishman has previously ridden in support of Alberto Contador, Chris Froome and Richie Porte at the Tour de France. And this summer we'll be aiming to help Tom Dumoulin win his first yellow jersey after being recruited by Team Sunweb. I've been very proud of, uh, of catching that interest from, from the team. I've been in support of some of the, the top riders in the, in the peloton or, or some of the best Tour de France contenders. I made a choice a couple of years ago. I, I quickly realised that um, as a team leader myself I was quite limited and um, I found some excitement in being in support for those key moments with, uh, with, with, with these riders. Uh, sometimes when I'm in good condition it could be in the mountains but also a lot to do uh, pre the mountains just make sure they're they're safe during the day and looking after the you know the the, the team and and being a bit of a road captain on the way too um, I've really really enjoyed it and, and got some some good satisfaction out of it Nicholas Roach a brave man stage winner on the Vuelta Tour of Spain of course in the past and he's shown what he could do in the high mountains look at this the Zonkaland for goodness sake I thought that by going to a team and, and being in support of someone who's actually winning racing, winning races for some part of the year, and then I would have the chance for the second part of the year, uh, would be a perfect plan. So when uh, Bjorn Ries called me in 2012 uh, to say he was going to build um, a great team and I was going to be in support of Alberto and the Tour, and then I would get my shot at the Volta, for me it was uh, it was a perfect scenario. And the Irishman is looking to replicate that tried and tested formula with his new leader, Tom Dumoulin of the Netherlands. I didn't quite spend too much time with him yet. Uh, we've had uh, uh, our programs were quite quite different. Uh, we just rode in Tirreno and San Remo together, but we were also in, in, in the camps at the start of the year. And I really like his style on the bike. He's a very very classy rider, and the way he rides a time trial bike is just impeccable. Um, as, a, as a person, he's, he's really good in the group. I'm looking forward to, to get on to, to Grand Tours with him. I wasn't only approached to help Tom. Sunweb is a team that has said very openly that they're, they're, one of their main goals is to develop young riders, and they invested a lot in developing riders. And I think one of the the even more important roles that I have in the team is spending a lot of time with the, with the young riders. Uh, and I've done that in, in specific races, um, even the choice of my roommates and, and all that. And it was trying to, to give as much as experience back out to the younger riders, you know, give them advice on, on the bike, in the room. But at least I can give a kind of a, a, a feedback on what I've gone through uh, with overtraining, with undertraining, uh, coming back from injury. I've been you know, through so many experiences now over the 15 years or race scenarios that I try and give as much input as I can. I just, uh, I can't see myself without cycling. Yeah. I think cycling is, uh, is just so complete. Uh, racing is one bit of it and it's probably the one that I, not that I enjoy the least, but it's the ultimate goal for training and satisfaction and you, the adrenaline you get from racing, you never get it anywhere else. But the coffee ride around the seafront and the social thing, because even actually when we're racing, there's quite some social interaction, which is great compared to other sports. Every aspect of cycling, from, from the healthy part to the enjoyable part, to the going on the cycle paths with your family, um, to the coffee stop with your mates in the winter, it's just, it just completes everything. <laughs>